But I used to sit on benches all the time and I used to enjoy it. And then the things I've seen since I started taking these pictures has made me just be a little bit reluctant of uh, sitting on benches. I've seen guys with their bare asses hanging out, sitting around, so it's hard for me not to uh, sit here comfortably and not have that mental image of four hours ago there could have been some half-naked man. Yeah, generally I try not to sit on park benches anymore. Starting, you know, I, like everybody else, like I think my first Instagram picture was uh, the sky, <laughs> or like sunset and magic hour. And then it just became a contest with myself, almost like a compulsion, you know what I mean? Where I felt guilty if it was sunny out, not being out. I've never been a fisherman, but it is sort of that idea, you know, that as long as you're out, you could capture something really amazing and you just don't know when it's gonna happen, you know? There's like an element of, uh, the element of chance I think is really, yeah, it's like a game. I was planning on going to see the second movie of the Apu trilogy and I was like, coming in for the second screening, which must have been at 3.30, 3.45. And I was like, let me do one quick loop through the park. And I kind of came over here. And I said, it looks like uh, that guy's getting a blow job on the bench. So I pull, pulled out my phone, pretended like I was talking to somebody. Yeah, uh-huh. OK, like that. Yeah. Well, people, they don't, usually have no idea. Because I use the side buttons. Uh huh. And I was correct that it was a guy getting a blowjob. So when I see something that's that perfect, I, you know, you're, I weigh the risk of exposure of myself of like, well, they know I'm taking the picture or not. The performative element of the way I take the pictures is important because I don't want to disrupt it. And I've had times where, you know, in, in my excitement to get the picture, I wind up like, disrupting the moment, you know? So that one, I was like, okay, I want to be as subtle as possible. So I try to ride slow and just look, do, act, you know, act. I can act, that's one thing I can do. So I kind of came through here once and rode slowly. And I was like, I think I have the picture, but I'm going to go back <laughs> a second time. Just stay where you are and then I'll just come over there and meet you. Mm -hmm. I rode away and I was <laughs> so thrilled that that became this thing of like, I got to make sure I post this as quickly as possible just in case I get hit by a car. I don't want this image to go un, um, unshared with the world. I think if you're in public, you're in public. I mean, I do think that cameras and the fact that it's a surveillance society and everyone's being filmed all the time is you know, like that thing, but it is public. You know, there's a lot of complicated ways of looking at it in terms of the individual, you know, who's like the subject, but also it's like, yeah, well, this is like reality, you know what I mean? You know, because I think that the most bizarre thing in the world that you could imagine is that literally almost every person has a camera and what's their favorite thing, what's their favorite subject? Themselves. When someone's posing, they're presenting something to you, and when they're not Posing, I feel like you capture a truth, more truthful essence, and that was sort of, I think, what became more what it was about. Hello? Where are you now? Uh, I'm on 14th and 1st, yeah. Where are you? Uh huh. Cool hat, right?